Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to introduce the presence of a tree here uh, above these right hand cows and if we have time I'll also introduce some shadow areas and a sense of light and dark onto the three animals as well. So to begin with I have some Silurian blue mixed with cadmium yellow on just one part of my frayed brush here. Then I have some pure cadmium yellow and some pure yellow ochre. And I've given that a healthy spray with the water bottle. And I'm going to introduce now just some haphazard marks to begin to suggest the presence of this uh, tree. And you can see what I'm doing is applying the, the paint very loosely onto the paper and I'm rotating my brush in between each mark. And the idea is to get a haphazard range of marks and colours as well. Okay, good. So that's the first layer done. And now I've added a healthy dose of ultramarine blue to the same brush. And I'm going to apply that over the top of this first layer. Let's see what kind of effect we get. So the idea is the first layer of paint that I just put down. That represents the regions of this tree's foliage where the light is being transmitted through the leaves. So we're getting this array of bright colours. And what I'm doing now is beginning to indicate that there are also some shadowy areas on the tree where the leaves are a bit thicker and less light is transmitted. And I really want to darken the area of the tree which is closest to the animals because generally speaking uh, the leaves and branches of a tree will get denser and more tightly packed the closer to the center of the tree you are. Okay and the next thing to do now would be to introduce the indication of a few branches. And to do this, I'm now going to take a flat brush and I've got a mix of ultramarine blue and yellow ochre on this brush. And I'm going to start to use some little sideways strokes like this. to Just pick out parts of the branches. Now, I'm not going to draw, or for the most part, I'm not going to paint, I should say, a complete branch anywhere because I want to create the illusion that the leaves are both in front of and behind these branches. And then having done that, I'm now going to use a mix of ultramarine blue and burnt umber to introduce some branches which are in even deeper shadow. Once again, I'm just placing little sections of lines here and there. So that will do for the tree for now at least. Next I want to introduce some of those shadows into the, uh, the three animals. And to do that, I'm going to be, or I am applying a, a layer of a mix of cadmium red, ultramarine blue, and just a touch of cadmium yellow to give me this nice deep reddish brown. So this cow on the right uh, is very much in shadow because it's sheltering next to this tree. 
we just filled in. So I'm using the blue lines that I did right uh, at the beginning in episode one as, a, as a, a rough indication, but I'm not being too precise still. I'm still working fairly quickly. I just want to indicate the mass of these animals. And because I've got this nice yellow ochre first coat down already, I can leave that exposed in certain areas where the light is catching the bodies of the animals. So the second animal is less in shadow. So what I would have done had I thought about it a bit more carefully is not put quite so much paint on that top part of the animal. And in fact, what I think I'll do is let's, let's fill that in. And then with a piece of paper towel, I'll just wipe some of that paint off. And then the legs of the animal are roughly there. ears are in shadow, but this particular cow has a, uh, a white face with brown patches near its eyes. So we'll just put in a couple of initial marks in to show those. And then the cow, which is out of the sun, its right ear is in shadow. Its nose is a fairly dark colour. This ear is also in shadow. And this part of the neck and the chest, part of the front legs, and then this part of the hindquarters is also in shadow here. And there's a region here on the animal's rear end, which is also in fairly deep shadow. So you can see uh, in this episode, what I've done is establish the presence of this tree in the foreground, which when I've finished it will help to push these background hills and trees off into the distance. And I've started to create a sense of light and dark on the three cows in the foreground. OK, I think we'll leave this episode here for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions at all, you can always ask me in the comments below. See you next time.